Well, this was the HSMN derby between Gormaya and FC Leopards. The first game having been played in 1968, that was May 5th of 1968. And Gormaya won that game two goals to one with uh, William Chege Uma scoring two. And today, the honors was now on the, these two uh, sets of players, the new generation. And it was FC Leopards on the, the offensive from the beginning with uh, that man there, Sotre Kayumba, gracing of aggressing the crossbar with his perfectly placed header. Uh, Gormaya survived in that uh, first onslaught from that corner taken by another Burundian, that is Treson Dikumana. Gormaya survived there with the goalkeeper. David Mapigano, well beaten uh, to make sure the scores remain nil-nil at that point. And what a way sort of Kayumba was given that chance, the FC Leopards captain. They were not done. They came in with another attack. That was Gormaya. Jame Gislein Yipe, the boy from Ivory Coast, giving Gormaya the lead at the Moy International Sports Center Kasarani. And the fans were in cloud nine. Perfectly played the place the header. And it comes off the underside of the back of uh, Kipiagon to give Gormaya the, a very much deserved lead in the 54th minute. It was a chastening moment for FC Leopards. So Kip Kiru is there, unable to prevent that. And he will away. The big man from Ivory Coast, Gislein, Yipe, Nyame. And he was not done. He came shut off. Uh, that is Dennis Sikai. Feed, fed the ball to Clifton Mieso, who beat his marker. And what away it was for Jame, willing away again, putting Gormaya in the lead. The, goal, the coach there, Stim Polak, and believe your disbelief in disbelief, having seen his players take apart FC Leopards. He started the move and he finished it from that cutback by Clifton Miheso. One touch, side footing it into the net. FC Leopards shell shocked. Clifton Miheso perfectly placed the ball there, shrugging off. Trezor, Yikpe, the Ivory Coast man, gets into the book again for Gormaya. What a way he started his uh, career, and especially in the derby. FC Leopards fans in disbelief. They had started the game perfectly, but Gor were not done yet. He, Gislein found uh, Miheso. Gormaya fans and the goalkeeper Benjamin Ochan disbelieving what is happening or what is happening at Kasarani. Third goal for Gormaya there, the former FC Leopards winger Clifford Mieso finding the bottom corner of Benjamin Ochan's left. FC Leopards then was rocking, was rickety, was beaten. But the boy, formerly FC Leopards, did not celebrate it. FC Leopards launched their attack in search for a goal. And it arrived in a water way it came from that man. Treso Ndikumana, long range shot, finds the bottom corner, right corner of goalkeeper David Mapigano. No chance. Was it too late in the day? Was it a consolatory goal? Was it a cue for FC Leopards to spark a revival? Nice shot. Treson Kumana, the midfielder, urging on his uh, teammates to keep on pushing on the Gormaya. But as things would turn out, Gormaya were in no mood to let FC Leopards off the hook. And that man there, Boniface Omondi, crosses it for that man there, Lawrence Juma, the midfield general, and the Gormaya fans are all in cloud nine, FC Leopards, and able to stem the tide from Gormaya. Four goals to one. Historically, the highest score between these two sides was when Gormaya beat FC Leopards by four, five goals to nil in 1975. And this 
was coming somewhere close to that. But of course, FC Leopard have had their goal via Treso Ndikumana, the Burundian import. But they are, the Gormaya fans, happy with the fish, knowing the job has been done. Lawrence Juma, the referee, bringing the action to a conclusion after 95 minutes of action. And the coach, Steve Pollack, was so happy. FC Leopards not able to provide an answer. Until next time, this has been the Kenya Premier League highlight.